gonna chat because this is what we do. Um, I don't think we need to give a history of how long I've known you. Because you know that new friends thing? I've got to say, if I took that on board mm. when I moved to Northwest from South. Would you have any friends? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the first person to tell me that my friends are dry. Your friends are dry. No, you're forever telling me no, that. I'm telling you. No, but you dry. Northwest girls are hype though. You lot are in everything. I'm not gonna lie. You lot are in every single thing. There's not an event that happens that you're not involved in. Excuse me, me. You, you particularly. That's a lie. My that girl. <laughs> if it wasn't for lockdown, <laughs> you'll be out here showing. No, I was. Bridge, you show skin and show body and show face and show lashes. Every how many restaurants have you been to in this Can't last wait, weekend? Good, them good. How many restaurants have you been to? When in the last weekend? One. No, it wasn't. I one. went two, two. Exactly in one weekend. Yeah. Are you money long, sir? I went two on one day. What? We went to the first one. It was rubbish. We went queer. But wait, 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 wait. So the gram yeah. thinks that you went to two different restaurants for full meals. <laughs> Because that's what I thought. You no, know, I went. I did go to two different restaurants. I had starters at one. I didn't like the mains, so I went to another. No, one. no, no. You lot left the big, big restaurant after the starters. Yeah, because the mains were. You know what it is. We went to Koya, yeah, and the menu is. Um, you got to have a certain palate. So no, but wait, wait, wait. Why did you not go for high chest that? restaurants anyway? Because you no. Know, let me tell you why. We yeah, we don't know. Koya, 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 Koya. You know what it is. We didn't look at the menu properly. And obviously, because of COVID, no, let me ask all you menus say, are reduced. If if you didn't look at the menu, you didn't look at the price. So you're telling me you look. If I look at the price, that means I can't afford it. So what happens when you got to pay? I just pay. And what? Pray. No, I don't need to pray. Because when I take my thing out, I'm like, go, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens to me. So I use going in big, big restaurant, looking tad up, and going, Father yeah. God. No, but I don't do that because I know, depending on where, if I know where I'm going, right. like, Koya is like Hakkasan, Novikov <laughs> level. You know, I've never been so there. Places. I know. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about what I'm doing wrong out here. What am I doing wrong? You're not hanging around with me. That's what you're doing. Yeah, because my friends are dry. Yeah. We've established this. But so, also, I don't have money even to take me to them places. I don't go with man. You see, I go with, my, I go with them lot. That's true. I know. go with the girls. I don't need man to take me there. I are you not shot in? What are you not doing? <laughs> I need to really establish. Because you've got long money, you know. No, you've got loots. Yes, you do. No, we do not. I can't even afford to look at their menus in them places. But it's not like... Do you know what? If we know we're going... Yeah. Then, obviously, you pattern your ting, innit? How do you pattern your ting, though? I just... I pattern my ting. How do you pattern your ting? I get money, innit? How do you get money? See, that, sounds, work, like, that sounds like shot of mentality. That sounds no, like you're not. a tra- I'm a trap queen. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I know where I'm going, then it's if I know I'm, if I know I'm going Basaba, I know like Basaba. I see these names. How much I'm going to spend? Basaba is like Nando's. Let's not go there. I thought that was Bus by. Who? Isn't that the one that's got like <laughs> what's? Have what? you got like Thai Oriental type? Yeah, thing. and it's <laughs> called Basaba. What was Bus by? <laughs> <laughs> and they got a few of them. You they got loads. Yeah, it's oh, called bus bike. Bus bike. Yeah, don't worry. What? Okay, I've only been there once anyway. But yeah, I, yeah, I'm really like, I'm a self girl, innit? We don't do nothing. We're not hype like you lot. But it's not hype. But yet we get the no. You know how we get ripped all the time. Yeah. That we're too ghetto. That we're too <coughs> this. It's just not real, and it's not fair. And I'm tired of you people, especially you Northwest people. Is always, this a South versus North? No, it's not. Let conversation. Me come up, no, let me come up I feel like. No, I know my energy's like mad, you got, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> towards Northwest. I'm just hating at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but you don't need to because. I'm a phone call away. But I'm just a, know that I'm my wardrobe call. is ready for them the movements. So there know? we go. So then we've got no problem. But the bank I sent you a message about Jamaica. Oh, now you can't reply to my no, message. No, but I had to consult Nat West. <laughs> and I'm waiting on a call back. Because <laughs> the price that you put in that thing, but because yeah. you're not going easy. No, come on. Go hard or go home. What's the point? What's the point? Go hard or don't pay my rent. <laughs> don't pay after school club. No, say, hello. But uh, seriously. Hello. You come to get Ashley. No, but... If we know that we're going somewhere, yeah. you just obviously budget, innit? You make yeah. sure that but, but I found in my later years, remember I'm older than you, yeah? Mm-hmm. Not not by that much. By enough, brethren. When you was in year seven, I nearly done school enough, fam. That's not that bad. <laughs> Alright, wait, wait, wait. Hold you again. <laughs> oh friend. Hi friend. Thirty-three. Four. Thirty-four. Yeah. And I am, I can't remember. 
So, when you was in year seven, I was nearly finished. I was doing mocks. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of difference. You just joined the, the, the little patronage. Yeah, but... Yeah? I'm, I'm lit lit. So, you, you already know this about me. No, so I do. I do. You should just roll with the gang. And the thing is, I don't think age is a number. No. Because just... at the end of the day, I never feel that we are different in Mm. in age but i think (laughs) friendships my friendships particularly have evolved and they've changed from who i was yeah like i have i've actually looked at a lot of the friendships and i'm taking them for who they what it is Mm -hmm. and living in this moment have Mm. you found that as you've gotten older your friendships have changed considerably oh a thousand percent what particularly has made it change though um i feel like i've just grown from Mm. people as in like things that they do i can't do we don't have i have noticed me and my some of my friends we don't have the same level of responsibility so some of my friends don't have children yeah i've got children so yeah. whereas they can be out every weekend or sometimes in the middle of the week i can't do that yeah do you know what i mean so that's one aspect of it again some places i don't want to be there's people i don't want to be around like do you know what i mean like, and do you think when you were younger you made those choices or did you just go anywhere and everywhere before I used to just go anywhere and everywhere because yeah. I didn't care. I was that kind of person. I didn't care. But now, what's made you care though? <clears throat> um, I just don't want to be in some places. Mm. I just don't want to be around certain people. They're just not my, it's not my steez anymore. And I ain't got time to walk with a sage. You know them one there. Yeah, like be a bad man. <laughs> like it's be a, a bad lot. Man. I feel like even now, I'm in a place on my Instagram. Even mm. I go from page open to page private every other week. Why? Why do you have Instagram and make your page private? I don't understand. So I made it private yesterday. What's the point of social, having social media? I know. I know. And can I just say, doing what you do, i.e. your hosting and... I know, but... You shouldn't even have your page Yeah, closed. so I had it open. I'm no I get your my page is open. I get my my DMs, though. Okay, you don't have to answer. But people ask me for inappropriate material. Okay, people and send then, me inappropriate material. Do you get willy pics? Yeah. All the time. I don't get them. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. I get them all the time. Like big really pics. I don't open them. Because it has that fire thing in it. it, No. (laughs) It says um, this may contain sensitive content. So I know what it is. So I just don't open it. Why you don't want to look? Because why am I looking? But you like dick? Obviously. (laughs) But I don't want to some random dick on Insta. I know. Why do men think Um, that that's Yeah, it's okay. I don't want unsolicited dick pics. Yeah, because it's not cool. It's unsolicited. That's And I get a lot of... um, non-ethnic men mm. that I think because I look closer to Kunta Kente probably than <laughs> the most <laughs> that they this whole you know yeah. um, I think they like that of me um, and that I get the slide-ins and alright so do you know what I do find yeah, yeah. so you see now obviously because I've done my vlog with my fashion and yeah. stuff so now when I um, post pictures I put like loads of different hashtags uh, and I also notice depending on where I am if I tag my location okay it's like that location will come up. Um, if someone Send clicks it, my picture will come up in it. So I get all these ah. DMs. That, like for instance, I went Turkey the other day. Bear Turkish man. Bear Turkish sliding in my DMs. Bear shisha and that or shawarma. Yeah, or... I, I don't know. I don't know because I'm not interested. I'm already right. like a Turkish man. No, he's probably got a good family business though. You know, you look after you and yours. Mm-hmm. I hear that, but <laughs> it's not my. It's not my Bear life. Donna. Yeah. Imagine Donna Monday to Friday. Yeah, I'm not on it. I'm not on it. I get a lot of Asian dudes. You know. Do you? Yeah. You know that's fraud, isn't it? They just want you to send them money. Why? But they look rich. Okay. <laughs> so does half of the people on Instagram. No, it's true. But some of them don't even have a headboard. So <laughs> that's, that's a podcast no, for another isn't. day. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what you're talking about. They could look rich till thy kingdom comes. Someone I, might say I look rich. I don't. Look at you. You already <laughs> thought that. Yeah, it's true. I'm doing the most. No, doing bro. Most. Like, man puts money down to go to these places. You get me? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. So, that is true. It's true. And I think you have to go with your times. Like, like I have been interested in looking elsewhere because we were talking about. Elsewhere is in outside of the black race? Or? Yeah, because we were talking about dating. Remember you and I were having this mm-hmm. discussion? Mm-hmm about dating we have this conversation all the time but all the time because you know back on the market and that now mm. i have to really i don't know if i really want to be out there out there how do you feel being back on the market do you know what i feel like how can i say it i feel disappointed if i'm honest okay because as a woman because of the situation you're yeah from? One, once you get married mm-hmm. you think that's it mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the market is is closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the stock market is dead to you. You're not even looking. <laughs> Nothing don't exist. Nothing don't yeah. exist anymore. And if you're that type of girl that takes marriage seriously, seriously. yeah, 
you're not even you're thinking once i was i remember walking down the aisle thinking this is the last thing i'm ever going yeah, to because see you don't, no one intends to get married to then obviously they nah. will be divorced however many years later or this is it whatever the case may be when i think men have a different perception of marriage yeah. to women i feel like for women when we get married we're getting married because this is who we want to spend the rest of our right. lives we are okay to be with this hundred percent and we go into marriage taking it seriously i feel yeah. like men some men, I don't want to say all men, yeah, I don't yeah. want to speak for all men, but I feel like some men don't go into marriage and take it as serious. I feel yeah. like they just think, well, fuck it, I've been with her for how many years? The next step is to be married, isn't it? But and I think it may not necessarily it's, be it's what different. they want. And it's, it's, if you're religious, it's different. Because mm. I think, like, I am, I would say, my, call myself a Christian. Mm-hmm. I won't say I necessarily go to church, but I go to Sunday service, milk tray, big up your chest. Um, and <laughs> you know in it big up milk <laughs> big up milks brought me back to Christ and that and I really think like my walk is getting stronger mm-hmm. but um my basis on what marriage meant was very Christian related you know like yeah. looking after under God the eyes of God to man and woman coming together for mm-hmm. eternity mm-hmm. you know what man what is it what one man put us under uh, that that saying what to, brought together and that no man put us under whatever mm-hmm. not supposed to break up through Basically. sickness health and, yeah, 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 anything yeah, yeah. But it didn't take much, if I'm honest. Well, I say it didn't take much. It did take a lot. It took one major incident. Mm -hmm. But in that, I never thought that I would be back here Mm -hmm. looking for a partner. Mm -hmm. And also, when my marriage was ending, I said to myself, never again. I do not want to see another man Mm -hmm. ever again. I do not want to have a relationship. I do not want to make myself vulnerable to somebody. To someone like I gave my heart, body, and soul. Yeah, yeah. But you would because you're getting married. It's it's not. He wasn't just your man. You expose your whole being. You know. Of course. Like I have things about myself, physical things that I I hide and I shame from you know strangers. But Mm -hmm. my husband sees it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You bear all. You bear all. And it's such a vulnerable place. Someone Mm -hmm. like myself, I'm quite private. Mm -hmm. And I am so conscious also about myself. And so for me to even open my mouth, I'm not that girl that tells my friends like, I need you, like I'm feeling whatever. If you come to me and you ask me, I I don't. I I can attest to that. I don't. don't. I hold nothing. I know when something's wrong. Yeah. And then you have to like bully me out. Yeah. (laughs) pressure it out of you and, and that's just that how I yeah that's my survival mode you know <coughs> what I mean just get on with it and so coming out of that situation I'm not gonna lie it broke my heart mm. like it properly broke my heart mm. and I thought and I talk uh, as in heart in terms of love mm. I, I thought I was in love did you feel like though yeah because I've been in a relationship and felt like when I broke up with the person like I lost a part of myself do you is that how you felt? I felt like a bit of me died. Because your marriage was over. Yeah, and I felt like a failure. No. Yeah. I feel like that. On, honestly, because, you know, ending a marriage is one of the biggest failings in life because, you but know... But that, based on who? Because that's just based, based on, on society, people. Exactly, yes. but we if we go living our life based on society... Yeah. Then there's a lot of things that we should and shouldn't be doing. Do you get what I'm trying but to say? But also, you don't start a project to somewhat fail it either. No, so that's how I said. feel. I felt like I started. It, not that it's a project, but I started no, but, and yeah, I committed I to something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't go all the way through. It didn't go all the way through, and it didn't even go too far. You know, I was married for three years. Mm. You know, I had beautiful friends and family like yourself that flew to a different country mm. to witness that, and that was a disappointment. Can I just and say it was lit. It was, and that's the disappointment. And mm. I think to myself. All of that for what? For nothing. For big money, for big energies. Mm. For what? And I think it's allowed me to really reflect on <clears throat> not only next partners, but myself. What did I do wrong? Because you can't always blame the other person. Okay, so what do you feel you did wrong? I took the mother role. Okay. Yeah. From yeah. early days. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Early I'm days. I, you, you remember? You, you know how I am already. I'm not on all that. <laughs> Yeah, you used to say Three, to me four, five meals a day or serve it every day serving. you know that's what i used to do you yeah. know that I you know see it for yourself I've cooked, i used you, to you want to eat you eat money girl i take out food from the pot i, na- I fold your napkin i give you your, your knife and your fork and i ask you would you like do condiments you work in a restaurant <laughs> in hospitality do you work in hospitality but that's what industry? i believed that a wife should do I've, not that I saw my mum doing it, you know. Mm. It's really weird because my mum's my mum and dad's but marriage again, failed. But again, that is that is society, That's society making you think that as a wife, 
these are things that you should be doing. I'm yeah. not saying don't do it for yeah. your man. So I don't want no one to listen to this and think later, that's why she ain't got no man. Da, da, da. That's not it. I'm not saying don't do those things for your man. Mm. However, I feel like when you do do those things, your man should appreciate. Yeah. Yo, like my wife cooks, she shares my dinner, she does this, she does that, blah, 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 blah. But blah. then it becomes standard. Exactly. So this is what happened. But then the minute that you like, don't do it, what? It's a problem. It's a massive but problem. But if I wasn't, I wasn't, if I never did it, you wouldn't, be accustomed to it but you also got to do, like i'm quite old school you know mm. i like a man to do manly things you know yeah i like i'm not that i can't lift up a drill you know yeah and put up a black i need you to put the shelf up i need, I need you to build the wardrobe i just need you to do that because i can to build the bed but I you want to brought me down on the bed you need to build it up <laughs> and that's it period that is it. that's i it's not like i can't do it but i need you to do it do you know what my issue is this is my issue where i think i'm still single yeah i am very much i don't need you Mm. I am very I, that's my problem my problem is I'm very much okay well why do you think you don't need a man because I know I do but what do you need a man for to companionship to give okay. me companionship okay but what else do you need a man for to give me sexual pleasure right do you need a man to pay your bills I would like a man to share do my bills do you need a man to pay your bills well according to Nat West I do currently <laughs> I need do you, you need <laughs> a man to pay your bills I don't need a man, right. but I'd like a man a, to share my you, bills. Do you need a man to make you feel good about yourself? That's okay. So that's a whole nother podcast. Hold on, wait. Do you need a man to make you feel good about yourself? Right now, yes. I tell you why. Go on. Because I like to be complimented. Mm-hmm. I have. I feel like at the moment in my life and the breakdown of my marriage, I've become insecure, mm-hmm. and I've lost a lot of myself mm-hmm. and a lot of my confidence. Those that knew me before, yeah, yeah, told yeah. me shit. Yeah, I was the hottest thing in Streatham. But you are. But not, I don't feel so. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've lacked mad confidence because of the knock. Do you know what rejection feels like? When your marriage ends, you feel rejected. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. someone chooses that to, to, leave, to leave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you chose that the relationship wasn't good and the person didn't work hard to yeah. keep you, right? So it knocks you. Mm. So yes, right now, mm. I feel like I need a man to build me up a little See, bit. I don't have that mm. same type of... I don't feel like I need a man in my life. Because everything I do, I've been doing on my own. I so make, when a man comes I into make your my life, own money, what's his role then? I do, it's just to add, isn't it? It's to add to my life. I don't necessarily... Because if I, I was doing everything I'm still doing when I'm with you, before I had you... But then does he feel like he's got a purpose so, then? All right, so... Everybody wants to I was in a relationship to. where I was getting designers all the time and money all the time, nice restaurants all the time. But then... Because you're doing these things, you think that you can talk to me a certain way. Mm. You think that you can do certain things and I'm supposed to just let it slide because you're going to come home with a Gucci rucksack or you're going to come home with fucking a big box of flowers or mm. you're going to transfer money to my account and I'm hearing Monzo cha-ching and I'm supposed to be like, hey, <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was doing all right before you came along. Yeah. So don't think because you're able to do more for me, not do for me, do more for me, mm in certain parts of my life that I'm supposed to just sit down and tolerate certain things. I'm not. So I don't yeah. need you. I want you, but I don't need you. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, most men will say they don't really need a woman in their life because they can make money, they can do this, they can do that. I don't necessarily need a man. I want a man, mm. but I don't need you. Yeah. Like, if you left tomorrow, my rent is still going to be yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My car is still going to be driven. My kids are still going to go to school. Like... My life isn't going to stop. So what, what difference did that make for women in the 40s and 50s that particularly needed a man? Is it because they built... Do you think it's all about money then? What, then or now? Then. Because <clears throat> it's almost like they didn't go so. to work. I, I think I believe so. I think obviously back then it was a lot harder, innit? Like, And I think it was more that men were the breadwinners. Like women were more mm. stay at home, look after the kids, cook clean, do like all the house stuff and be a housewife and your man went out, your husband went out, came home, brought home the money and it was made sure that when he comes from work, his bath is set, his dinner is cooked, you share his dinner or whatever the case may be. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But then I think that's the difference. I think Mm -hmm. if I married an African man, Mm -hmm. my life would be different.